the Zaka Shen we're going to talk this week about what God and the Torah is expecting from us. To realize it, we go to the beginning of the Zohar to see. And Zohar says that there is, for knowledge of the Torah, there is a word in Hebrew that says Bur. Bur Vamaris. Bur is like, if I try to translate it, is like unknowledge men or unknowledge people. That's who they are. People that are not learned? Unknowledge. What's unknowledge? No knowledge. Of what? Of the, from from, from the a shell? Uh huh. From that. As a Bur Vamaris, he is like. So the Ramak trying to explain this word and to understand it says when he said bull he is in Hebrew language, but the bull it means someone is doing and practicing the Bible by as it is, as a command. So what's the other way? asking and the other way is coming from the point that we learn it and we know it and then we practice it because we want to and we love it and we have your right Hashem that's a different way that's that that's not to be a bull this is so the key is from what the Bible looking for us is that we will practice the mitzvot from our wishes. That we wish to do it, and we want to do it, and we have your attention by that. This is what the Torah wants for us. By doing mitzvot anashim ilumada, it's meant to do it because you learn it or because somebody told you. Is a boar like a simpleton? I told you, it's like unknowledge. So the Bible wants from us to study it and to know it and to love it and to make it, to practice it because you want to do it. Why you don't want to do it? Or you just do it because somebody told you to do that. Have no fears. And you don't have fear from not doing it. Because it doesn't matter for you. But if you understand it and you want to do it, by not doing it, you have a fear from not doing it because you know what's coming. So you don't have a fear from the punishment if you don't love this misfortune to do it. So that's where we start. This is what the Torah is working. So for us, one of the basic things that the Torah says, we have to study the Bible. We have, it's not a question of studying the halacha. That's not a question at all. Studying the Bible, the parashot, and the books, the Rashid, Shmot, Vayikram, Bavitvan, just learn it. Study it and to know what he wants from you. To know and to understand what he wants from you. What God was uh, expecting from us, this is what we should do. So the basic thing, to be able to start to practice it by studying. What he's looking for? And Zohar is explaining. When you say he, you're talking about Hashem? Yes. What Zohar is saying that when we getting from God blessing, he blesses us and we give. This is what we call, he called my truly. It's mean a male water. That's the blessing that we got from God. Because the whole world is like a female side. Why? If you look on the earth, if you want anything to grow up, he have to observe 
to take into it. Absorb. Yes. The what? The water that is coming from the rain. The blessing is coming to the earth. They're going to observe it and then they're going to grow up. So the whole world is receiving. So there is a rule. Receiving the female and giving to the male. So the male water coming in to the female side, that's who we are. But what we do? By practicing, by doing, by loving what we do, we do the opposite. We lift up the female water. There is no water allowed in the Bible, it's in the Torah. So what we do is we take it up. So this is the mind looking that we do. Of course, it's climbing by, by your atashim. How, 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 how do we do that? How do we elevate? How do we make it rise? We 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 doing it by practicing the mitzvot. But the key for all of that is your atashim. We have a fear from God. But not because we're afraid from him, because we will respect him. To the point that we respect him, we fear from him. That's what we call it, your attention. Uh, I, I, that, that this, this is our elevator to take it up and to bring it to that point. So love is not enough. Love is enough. That love is the key. Love is the tool. If you love to somebody, get fear. Mm -hmm. Or to get the respect, to get fear. Uh, absolutely. If you love your father, you respect him. Right. If you love your father, you have a fear from him, not from, that you fight, fight him from him, but that you respect him. You want to keep him on, on a certain distance from you. To be, that, that's where we are. So love is the basic things what the Torah wants from us. So that's why they asked Rabbi Akiva. Ask him, what is the main things he said about the whole Torah? And what he said? Love your friend is the same way as you, you love yourself. We say more than, more than that. Rabbi Ari says, the key to love everyone. The key is to love everybody. So what the Torah wants from me is one thing. Study the Torah. Practice it, but please, with love. Do it with love. This is the key. If you, if somebody forces you to do something, how long? One day, two days, one year, two years, and then what? You kick it out. You will not be able to keep it anymore. So the key is, do it. If you do something, if you like, love it. And you do it with love, you will never stop doing it. If somebody forces you to do it, it's against our nature. It's against who we are. It all will collapse. Look on all dictators, countries that we have. They're falling down one by one. Why? Because we can't observe dictators. Somebody forcing you to do something that it's not you. This is what God is saying for us. You want to do? Please. If you do it, do it with love. This is the key. So love is the key. Love is the key for everything. That's why the Zohar says, if you want to come to heavy heart Hashem, first love Him. That's why we said the first word in Shema is the after. To love God. With all your heart, because this is where we are. We can't practice it. We can't practice our love to God. We can't, because what is to express to love is to find something that you need to fill it up. What you need? What you need? You have everything what you want. Whatever he needs, you have already. What, what I'm going to fill up to give him. So to love him is the same to love Israel. Why? Because this is the, 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 the Agadah, to now the time 
this time of the year we study that and the Agadah said there are four sons we have in the in Agadah. One is smart, one is not how to ask questions, etc. etc. So this is a question. There is only one Rasha, one Chacham, one who don't know how to was it only one? The answer is no. One in Hebrew is a chad. A chad in Gematria is 13. And love is 13. There is a love in each one of them. What is connecting them together is love. This is the basic. So even the Rasha have love inside of him. Even the smart guy, the Chacham, have, the one who don't know to ask the question, he has all of them. Look on Sukkot. We have Arbat Aminim. You love a true Hadas Barara. Can you hold one of them and make the bracha? Hmm. No. You have to put all of them together. One of them have a smell and taste. One have only smell. One have only taste. One don't have no smell and no taste. This is who we are. The Israelis. One is just learning, no practicing. One's practicing, no learning. One is learning and practicing, and one is no one no, this. Uh, but again, we cannot do it if not all of them together. So what's the point? Is the love. That's the one who connect us and make us together. That's who we are. Love is basic things in our life. I made a research and I found out 70 types of love. Can we live without love? No, we can't live without love. It's impossible. Love to a wife, love to a kid, love to friends, love to your parents. Now, just name it. Any, every corner you find it. We can't live without love. We abuse the love because the first thing which we did, God told us, don't eat from this tree. Because he loves us. He wants us for our benefits. But we abused it. <laughs> and that's the first thing we have to do. We have to reconstruct the love that we abused. That's why God gave us the first command is to love. Can you have love without respect? No, you can't. So what wow. is coming first? Respect or love? Respect, I think. I think so. Love? Love? So, and then respect? And then the respect is coming out of it. If you love somebody, you will be able to respect him. Right. You can't respect him if you don't love him. When you respect him, you accept him as he, as he is. If you just respect him and don't love him, you, have, you will cross him every second day. You will not give him whatever he needs. This is not respect. Wow. Real respect. When you love somebody, you respect him. If you don't love him, you can't respect him. Without a shame, <laughs> we hope and wish that we're able to do it and practice him and study the Torah. Not right. only the Torah, that's not the only point. Not only that. Bible, Bible. From A to Z and learn it. Somebody said, oh, what do you want from me? I'm every Saturday, I did a... You read the par you read the parasha, but you don't learn it. Mm -hmm. If you if you started, eh, all of us are professional in the head of the parasha. <laughs> is we know the whole the whole lectures, but the end of it we never know it because we don't have time until we come Shabbos's end. We're in the middle of the parasha, and we never read even the end of the parasha, so we don't have time to read it and to be there. Study constantly and the job. Then you got everything. Nice. And not a shame. We'll